there's, there's this question of whether or not osteopathy is a set of techniques or a philosophy. It is the philosophy that distinguishes between MDs and DOs. It's the phil philosophical differences. The, the tendency sometimes from the outside is to look at the techniques and to just take it in that same model of treating diseases as opposed to looking for health and just say, okay, now I have this series of osteopathic techniques that I can apply to these disease processes, which isn't what it's about. With osteopathy, although we're still taught the disease-oriented model because that's the context in which we'll be practicing, we also are given this tool, uh, manipulative medicine, to often address the actual problem that's causing symptoms and then go beyond that you know, still barely taught any techniques at all um, in his talking. He talked very much in metaphor. So he didn't want people. And he did, you know, at times talk about, you know, adjusting a rib to free up a nerve. But the concept wasn't that it was neuromusculoskeletal medicine. It was all about the neuromusculoskeletal system. When a person came in with a chest pain, you have to observe the patient walking in. The person came in with one short leg. So been walking like this for such a long time. And when you walk this way for a long time, what do you think it does to the knee? What do you think it does to the hip? What do you think can happen to the spine if you walk like this for any extensive time? If the spine is tilted one way, the ribs could actually be compressed on this side because everything's tilted this way. If this is compressed, the lung on this side cannot expand properly. If it cannot expand properly, the heart has to work twice as hard. It, it could be enlarged. If it enlarged, becomes overworked, what happens? It could lead to coronary. You know, what I was taught is we don't, we don't use techniques. We apply principles. You know, so it isn't about just um, um, identifying bronchitis and saying, okay, what's the current antibiotic for that? Or back pain as an osteopath, and I say, okay, what's the, what's the manipulative treatment for that? Okay, you know. It's you. It's you who come into me with some issue. It's you who are in the middle of this unresolved healing process. And then it's a question of my listening, not deciding.